Oh, what a beautiful morning. Oh, what a beautiful day. I've got a wonderful feeling. Everything is going your way. Happy Sunday to you. Welcome to the Voice of Hope Connection. I am D Foster 3. I'm glad you decide to join us to start your week. This is just something to get you through the week because we never know what we're gonna face, but we can always be prepared. Listen, before I drop a word on you this morning, I want to encourage you right immediately following the Voice of Hope at 7.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time to join us on our Voice of Healing community prayer call. Have you ever wanted to be in an environment of people where it's a safe space for you to just unwind, for you to just release, and for people to just speak into your life and to hear affirmations? Well, that's what we do every Sunday morning at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm inviting you to join us. The number is at the bottom of the screen. Also, join us every Friday, and you can look at the replays for the Voice Over Now podcast, bringing relevant, timely, trending information, educational, entertaining content to you, the listener and the viewer. You can join us on this network, www.wpbmedianetworks.com on all of the platforms and then on Wake Up Global TV YouTube page. <sighs> Share this. Someone that you know may need to hear this. This will take you back. Growing up, my mother sang a song that happens to be one of my favorite today. And she would always be humming it in the kitchen. And it goes something like this. I come to the garden alone while the dew is still on the roses. And the voice I hear falling on my ear, the Son of God is calling. Then it goes into this, and he walks with me and talks with me. And he tells me I am his own. And the joy we share as we tarry there, no other has ever known. Now, why would I start this off with that song? Because it's as relevant and true today as it was when the author penned it. I'm not sure what we're going to face this week because times are very uncertain. But in lieu of feeling hopeless, sometimes we miss what's right in front of us. And that is that whatever will confront us that seems to be bigger than us, we can have a talk right on the inside. You don't have to call here or call there, but there is someone on the inside who will hear and cares about your situation. See, sometimes we downplay that because we can live in a cold world that thinks, makes us think that we are all by ourselves. But when you seemingly go through an insurmountable situation this week that you cannot seemingly handle, I want to encourage you to stop. And even if you say something as small as this, God, help me. I know that doesn't seem big because we taught to talk to God. You have to use all these fancy Elizabethan King James Version words. But because he dwells in you, sometimes it makes all the difference to stop, take a breath, and say, God, I need your help. That short sentence may be insignificant to humans, but it is all powerful to God. 
So this week, as you go through life, as you deal with life situations, as you deal with real situations, as you deal with challenging, perhaps, situations, I want to encourage you. Just remember, he walks in you. I'm going to change it a little bit. He talks to you. And he tells you and reminds you that you belong to him. And the joys you share, if you would just tarry, stop right there, I promise you no other has ever, ever known. What a blessing to know that we don't have to look far but there's a comfort on the inside of us. The Spirit of God, God himself, that is willing and able to listen to whatever we have to say. So as you go through the week, I want to encourage you. Don't forget to tarry there. Before you fall apart, before you throw your hands up and surrender, before you get discouraged, don't forget to tarry there. My aunt used to say years ago, she's transitioned now. Aunt Evelyn used to say, when I would be talking to her or I leave her house, don't forget I am as close to you as your nearest phone. Well, I got a better one for you. God is close as is close to you as your lips as your thoughts, as your attitude. None other has ever known. I want you to like this. I want you to share this. I want you to follow us. I'm encouraging you as you walk through this week, remember, there is a voice of hope. Let's connect to it. I'll meet you on the call.